ow. Like, ow. <laughs> Hi, it's Todd of Todd's Workshop and Todd Cutler here and today I'm back with another sort of lockdown longbow film. I've done one recently about what happens to the arrows, how deeply do they go in, if you grease your shaft. And in that film I talked about the hindrance of having these things poking through your shield. I mean out the front actually is inconvenient, I was actually looking at the back. A lot of people said that you could do like they do in the movies and you could just cut them away with the sword or smack them aside with a, a spear shaft like Leonidas did in the 300. Well, I thought, let's just try and cut these arrows off. So we've got an Albion Agincourt sword. This one's not made by me. We've also got to help us a Todd Cutler hammer, because of course not everybody wore swords. So look at that baby there. A nice bronze, oh, look at that fella. Our first trial is gonna be me trying to cut these off with my sword. This is awkward, I can tell you, because I, I can't get in there. You know, this is difficult. More or less, all I can do is sort of like ram it down and hope that I can sort of snap them and cut them off. So let's give it a go. Maybe not, actually. I like my Will Sherman arrows, so I'm gonna replace these with arrow shafts that aren't yet turned into arrows. So let's do that. Unsurprisingly, I've replaced my real arrows with these ones, which are still 12 mil ash shafts. So it's the same arrow shaft diameter. Here's my sword. Let's see how easily, well not, I can hack them off. Well, so far, I've got a shield in the face. Mm, all right, I'm gonna try and get that one with a longer strike, because I can't get in there. Hey, one down. Oh. I just gotta stop there, actually. Um, awkward. So can I do it off with a single swipe? No, I can't. So I'm just gonna replace these shafts now and we'll try it with a hammer and we'll see what happens. So much for the sword. That was really awkward and difficult and I ended up having to extend my arm right out to get a good striking point and it still didn't really work. So we're coming back for a mass weapon. If you'd like to support this channel, items like the Todd Cutler Dragon Hammer go a long way to helping. So we're gonna use this now and see if we can smash these arrow shafts off. Let's see what we do. Oh, ow. Like, ow. And I think that that is our answer. Um, basically, ow, oh, ow, ow. Um, pause for a moment. Well, a bit of recovery time now on my shoulder and I tell you I need it. The last variant we're gonna try is with an ax. I know this isn't a fighting ax, but you know, it's sharp enough to do the job. So let's see how this clears it. Sword didn't, mace didn't. Let's give it a go with the ax. Well. Oh, I'm in the swing of it now. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Right, tool of choice, ax. Was it easy and straightforward? Not really, actually. Here's our conclusion. Your shield has been shot to hell, it's full of arrows. How do you clear them out? You can't pull them out, that is really not easy. You can't cut them away with a sword or a knife or a dagger, just not gonna happen. You can't smash them away with a hammer or a mace, they just weren't interested in that. You can, with some effort it must be said, you can cut them away with an ax. So, tool of choice, if you have a porcupine shield, is an ax. Thank you very much. Thank you.